we're very excited to be involved with this project, um, not only from the hotel component side of it, uh, but also as you'll see, uh, the restoration and um, kind of the careful work that we've been doing to save host company number one, uh, which is Denver's first fire station. It operated as a firehouse out here for only 14 years. And once Union Station was built and trains started coming through on a regular basis, the fire department ran into problems that if there was a train on the tracks and they got called for a fire, they had no way of crossing the tracks with the train there to get over and to fight that fire. The three sides of this building were covered in stucco. There was kind of a, a sheet metal lean-to stuck on the side by 20th Street. And so really all you could see was the main front facade. And the whole thing was wrapped and twisted and warped and we are like, well, we don't know what to do with that. So we did a laser scan on the whole thing on the exterior so we could really start to understand how badly out of plumb this building was. The solution that we came up with our structural engineer was to essentially drop a little steel skeleton on the interior to so take any load of the building off of the brick except for the weight of the brick itself. We've got a new composite roof. It's got a steel deck, concrete topping, and then roofing material. A partner architect, Boss Architecture, suggested that we put a skylight in, uh, which we think is probably one of the best suggestions that they could have made. It's made a huge difference in here and we're rebuilding the doors. In the summer when it's beautiful, there's a patio out front, the, the wood doors will be open, the garage doors will be up, people will spill out and all that activity. And then in the winter, like the daylight today, you can still open the wood doors, have the daylight, but let the garage doors stay down and, and, and still occupy that space. 